Welcome back. Like clockwork, we got a new Samsung flagship smartphone for 2023, the S23 Ultra. And as expected, it has Samsung's best camera system to date. But there's more to this than meets the eye. This is not like any other year. Let's dive in. For years, Samsung pushed its cameras with big numbers. The S20 Ultra is a classic example with the debut of the 100 megapixel sensor and space zoom. It was a big number, but the camera experience had many issues. The most famous one being that it couldn't focus very well, which is slightly important for getting crisp shots. I remember this example on the website of zooming in all the way onto this dog. It was symbolic as it was kind of how Samsung thought of cameras. It was all fun and not much substance. This also brought us 8K video, but we don't need to cover that. But oh, did Samsung quickly learn after this. See, soon afterwards, Samsung gave us the S21 Ultra, a smartphone I still have and I can't part with. Maybe because of a sweet blue color that no other Samsung phone has been able to match. This phone was much more refined. Gone were the simple problems like autofocus, 100 megapixel was actually usable, which I made a video on, and honestly quite impressive in the right bright situations. Also, we got what I think is the best camera setup with four rear cameras. A setup that Samsung has stuck with and I feel Apple should copy. Maybe they will with the Ultra. The 10X on the S21 Ultra has been impressing me over and over again. It truly has become a wildlife camera in my pocket. It's great for capturing anything at distance, from birds to planes landing. Samsung was rapidly making the camera system better, but then they did something that took it to the next level. They listened to us, the enthusiasts. On this channel, I talk a lot about capturing photos in RAW formats, like ProRAW on the iPhone. This gives us the best possible image quality by capturing the most data the sensor can. Samsung has had Pro Mode for a while now, where we can get basic RAW files like this, which are quite good. But there is a technique to capture multiple frames and combine them into a super RAW file. Apple has been doing this with ProRAW, giving us files that have crazy levels of detail and dynamic range. Samsung took note of this and created the Expert RAW app. They used the S21 Ultra as a test platform for building the app. They kept it hard to find in the Samsung store and uh, they continued to add features and kept making it better. I didn't quite understand why they were doing this until now. See, now it's mature to the point that it can take RAW files that legitimately feel like they came from a bigger camera. And it has manual controls so you can tweak the settings for shots like this, of a long exposure of a yo-yo with lights. If you have a Samsung flagship since the S21, you have to check it out. Now there was one complication. See, Expert RAW could only capture in 12 megapixels not the full 100 megapixels that the S21 Ultra and the S22 Ultra have. These RAW files require a ton of computational power, so it makes sense. But then the iPhone 14 Pro came out with 48 megapixel Pro RAW, which is four times better than Samsung. But Samsung somehow saw this coming, and the new sensor on the S23 Ultra can take 50 megapixel RAW files, which in my mind is a lot more useful than 100 or 200 and it's perfect for an upcoming head-to-head -head with the iPhone. One thing to take note is that things are very interesting on the selfie side as well. Oddly enough, the S23 Ultra went backwards on resolution to 12 megapixels, and it's unanimously providing better results across the board. It's a great example of results being more important than specs now. This takes us to the final cherry on top. Expert RAW support has been expanding to even more Samsung smartphones, and Samsung has some great videos showcasing the benefits. With the S23 Ultra, we reach the finale because now the app is just part of the normal camera app. There's no separate download. Well played, Samsung. Someone without the history will just see it in the options and get amazing results. But a few of us know the true story. A story of Samsung taking cameras seriously and making real progress improving from sensors to software to get to a system that's really going to make it hard for Apple to compete. Stay tuned to see what happens. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.